John McConnell, how are things? Good, there we are. Thanks for coming. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. Uh, busy, plenty of horses in, and things are going well this season. Yeah, um, we've, we've a lot of horses in. It's going well, so it's about trying to keep it going now. Keep it going for the 12 months, and we'll be happy. Uh, plenty of entries over the next few days. Um, the horse that we've seen there on the gallop this morning would start with uh, Never Do Nothing, a horse that you bought from Andrew Baldings. He's had one run for you over jumps in Musselburgh. He beat a previous winner in El Picador for Keith Dog Leash. Right. And uh, he was impressive that day. And he's entered in Leopardstown in the Grade 1 and in Musselburgh. Any plans for him? Uh, yeah, he um, he was good that day in Musselburgh. There was a bit of room for improvement with his jumping, but he showed you an engine. So... Um He's in the Grade One uh, in Leverstein. There's only ten left in it. Um, we wouldn't mind having a go on it, but it's all very much ground dependent. He wouldn't want it to go too soft, so I'm going to leave it kind of as late as I can for both places to, to get a bit of rain in Musselburgh too. Um, so we'll we'll call it maybe Thursday or Friday, and uh, he more than likely run in one place anyway. Another one of those horses of the tree that we've seen this morning, a horse that uh, I'm very interested in is Anna Bonina. She came from uh, Jed O'Keefe's yards. Uh, she was very impressive in her last run in Catrick on testing conditions over my laugh. And I'd say she's a, an exciting recruit now for you going jumping. Yeah, when I saw her, I always loved her. She's not very big, but she knows how to win races. And she's won from a mile to a mile and a half. Um, and she, lucky for us, she took to jumping very well. So uh, she's in Musselburgh at the same race as Never Do Nothing. And if he doesn't run there, uh, she might go there. Um, but she'll definitely start soon. And, this one will be a long way to go, but we do like her. She's got plenty of ability. Uh, Construct was the third horse in that piece of work. Um, he's been good to you too. He's uh, rated 135 over hurdles, two from two over hurdles for you as well. Yeah, he's obviously a very, very nice horse. Um, big horse, big gross horse, takes a lot of work, um, but loves it. And he's exciting now. Um, he's in the Scottish Supreme Novices on Sunday as well. He might go there. If he doesn't go there, he'll go somewhere else. And he's entered in Cheltenham, but you know, he'll need to step up to, to go there. But he's a really nice horse and you know, one for the future as well. He's only a, only a baby, really. Another horse entered in Musburgh the weekend is Fred the Foot in the Pretemps qualifier. He's rated 133 now over hurls, and he's won four times for it. He's been a good servant, too. He's a great horse. Like He kind of slips under the radar here. He's, he's won five for us. He, As you say, he's 133. He's 139 in England, which would get him into the uh, Pretemps. So... Uh, we'll try and get him in the first six anyway if we can and um, then probably he'll go chasing in the summer. He had a couple of chase runs and he does jump well but he just kind of lost confidence a little bit in Navin so um, he could be exciting for the summer um, when we school him again but uh, he owes us nothing with five wins. He's, he's a good horse. Hand in my pocket a five-year-old Marler uh, mare. You bought her after her finished second in Drum hand. She was behind a nice horse of Aidan Fitzgerald. Um, Queen's Brook, I think she's yeah. called, who was uh, bought for quite a uh, sum of money by Gordon Elliott at the Cheltenham Sales. Um, how's she going and, and what's the plans for yeah, her? Yeah, we got her from James Doyle and uh, he spoke quite highly of her and we haven't had a, a minute's worry with her. She's been very good. Um, she's more like a gelding. She takes everything in her stride and um, she's not spectacular. She doesn't. She's not keen or anything. She, she kind of just lobs along, but when you ask her for something, she gives it to you. So. We're very hopeful she's going to be nice, and she's schooled very well over hurdles as well. So she's starting a bumper, and um, we'll see how, how that goes. But she looks, yeah, we're really happy with her lower. Uh, go, another one. He's been a great servant to the yards. Um, he's won, he's 140 rated over ch over fences. He's two from four over fences, and he's won five times over hurdles for you. Ah, he's, he's, a, he's been my star, probably my favourite horse of all time. Um, uh, very good horse. He's not without his problems. He's, he's had 
joint issues and wind issues and uh, you name it, but we, he's, he's holding together well. Um, he ran a nice race the last time in Cheltenham. He was eight or ten lengths behind Slate House, giving him eight pounds on heavy ground. That looks good for him now, but he would have hated the ground. Sean Bowen said he, he, he absolutely hated it. So we gave him a long break and he's in now Canter. And if he makes Cheltenham, he could go there. There's plenty of options for him there. And if he doesn't, we'll go for um, some of the nice races at one of the spring festivals. But yeah, he's a he's an absolute stalwart of the yard and um, I'm sure there's plenty of nice days left in him. And he's entered in both of the grade one novice chases at Cheltenham and he obviously can run a couple of the handicaps either, so he's plenty of options for Yeah, him. yeah, we've plenty of options. I, I, he was quoted in the four mile, but I wasn't going to run him that. I think it's a, it's a hard race and um, he'll go, he'll be entered probably in the, these two handicaps in, in Cheltenham and we'll see. It doesn't matter to us if he doesn't run there. If he, if he runs somewhere else, just as, um, a nice race, it will, we'll go there. But he's one definitely that, that can pick up another good race. Your trainer is not afraid to travel to England and take take, take them on over there in their own backyard and, and pick up those races over there. Um, as everyone knows, they are easier to win over there. Um, you have a few entries for Wolverhampton on Monday. Will you travel over there? I'm sure we will. Uh, we've three there. Um, we'll probably bring at least two. Um, it's low grade stuff now, but um, not every horse is, is, is a, a go another one. So we kind of try and tailor every horse to w w what we can do, uh, what we can win. And, um, you know, we'll go to Wolverhampton probably on Monday. I think we're going back there on the 8th as well. Um, and then we'll probably go in the summer to, to a lot of the tracks, uh, either for the flat or up to Perth or somewhere. Uh, um, the owners get very well looked after over there and you can maybe plan it a bit better because you know you're going to get into races so we have no problem travelling and you know especially with the low grade horses it's not about the money the prize money it's about the win so um, people don't generally mind going You're a big supporter of Dundalk which is only 50 minutes up the road for you you've had plenty of winners there plenty of runners as well it's, it, it, it's been good to you Dundalk has Yeah I've had a good run of it recently now um, and you know it's 50 minutes down the road I use it a lot for work as well, and I find the surface good. They've done a good job of kind of regenerating it over the uh, last summer, so I think there's very few complaints this year. Uh, they're going to resurface it then in this, in this summer coming, so it's a brilliant facility, and um, you know, for 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 schooling, it's you know, second to none. I think their last meeting is on the 22nd of April, and I think they're due to start the following day. How do you how do you think that will go? Do you think it's it's badly needed the resurfacing, or it's just one of those things? I think it's 13 years now; it's down, so it's just it's time, and and yeah. it's had plenty of galloping on. I mean, it, it's 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 outlived its lifespan, so it probably does need to be done. But uh, my horse is running it quite regularly, and we we don't have any more problems there than we do on any turf track. So I couldn't fault it, and. Um, you know, you can get in and work there quite quite easily on, on most days. So, um, you know, it's it's brilliant for us. It's only a spin down the road. Is there the I've we've spoke about the notable horses. Is there anything else there that that, that I haven't asked you about that you're looking forward to that maybe hasn't ran? Um, what else have we got? Um, we have a nice horse by Frankel called Indignation, um, who. Uh, when he gets into handicaps, he should be he, he should be competitive. We bought him at Michael Stouts last year, so hopefully um, he have one more run to be handicapped. And when he gets uh, gets his mark, he should be competitive. Um, we have a lot of nice horses. We try not to tend to keep horses that aren't uh, competitive because there's just no future in that for owner, trainer, jockey, nobody. So um, a lot of the horses we have will be competitive in some grade, you know. But it's just I suppose the better horses put you more on the map than than the average one. So. It's nice to get some good support from the owners to put, put good money into it, you know. Do you rather the flat over the jump or vice versa, or is it just a case of just getting winners? Uh, it, it's just winners. Uh, the flat is much easier to train, I think, but um, you can't beat a, a good jump race at the same time. I love both, you know. Um, I just like working with the horses, really. But a good two-year-old and a good four-year-old hurdler or chaser, they're all, they all give you the same buzz, you know. Listen, John, thanks very much for having me this morning. You have, a, you have a fine facilities here. You have a nice bunch of horses, and uh, best of luck for the weekend wherever you go, whether it's Leprechaun or Musselburgh. Cheers, and for the rest of the year. Thanks, man. Cheers.